Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music, and in this video we're going to discuss a cue written by Jerry Goldsmith for the movie Basic Instinct, and here's the uh, first page of the score, and as you can see there's a flute up there, and we have a xylophone, a vibraphone, we have a harp, and then we have strings. So, and we have clarinets here. So we have these instruments coming in. So let's just hear um, what it sounds like, and we'll just do a dissection of it in a group of four or so measures at a time. So the tempo in the cue is 54 beats per minute. So here we go. This is what it, the first group of measures sounds like. We'll stop it right there, and as you can see in the bottom, we have the chord structure D minor, F sharp minor, D minor, F sharp minor, F sharp minor. It's just alternating back and forth between those two chords. Now, if we take a look at the uh, actual MIDI mock-up, you see we have the flutes up here, and then we have the xylophone and also the vibraphone. So let's take a look at those. So here's your flute. So we see it alternating between the uh, D minor and the the F-sharp minor. And then we also have the uh, flutes, or sorry, the vibraphone doing the same thing down here. So let's listen to that. And also we have the xylophone. And you can see there, instead of just chords, we're actually hitting a, a note with the xylophone. And then we have the harp, starting in measure one. And as you can see from the notes here, it's doing an arpeggio. So here we go. And then we have our violins. Um, coming in at measure. Now this, these measures are slightly off, so it's they're off by one. So this would actually be measure three. And if you look at the score. So we looked at the flute. We looked at the xylophone and the vibraphone. We looked at the harp. So the next thing we'd want to look at here is the um, 
violins and violas, and then we have our cello, and we have our bass. So let's go ahead and look at those, the string section, basically. So there we have those instruments. So let's take another look at the score, see how that ties in. So it's like a staccato being played by the by the cellos and basses. We have actually two cello groups here, pizzicato actually. So let's take a look at the violins in particular, well, the violas in this case. We have the um, violas using the Sordino patch. So in this section here, we have the D minor chord. The This track, the violas are going basically from A to F. While the bottom track is going which outlines the D minor chord. And then when it switches to the F minor, the top Two notes are A and F sharp. Then the bottom track of violas is basically going from D sharp to F sharp, which is outlining the D minor and F minor chords respectively. So there's your D minor, F sharp minor. Okay, now another thing that's going on behind the scenes is the reverb. So here we see the um, all the instruments in the track and the reverb that's actually in the Vienna Concert Hall, Grosser Seal. And when you play the track, let's go back to the measure one in the score. So if you'll notice, there's your Sordinos playing. They're actually both VSL. Berlin didn't actually have a Sordino. And if we unmute or if we unsell those two and go back to it, then we'll see all of the instruments involved playing. Let's go back to measure two in the DA, which is measure one in the score. There's your vibraphone, there's your basses, cello, xylophone. Now, you can actually um, move these around in the stereo field in Vienna Mir Pro, which is what we're looking at right here. So let's go ahead and go back to our score and look at the second four measures. So basically, we've looked at one, two, three, four. Let's take a look at these measures here, starting at measure four in the score, measure five in the DA, or actually, measure six in the DA. So here we actually see the uh, clarinets come in. We can get that going. 
So I measure six. So we see how the violins are answering the clarinets. So let's take go to the DA and uh, go back to measure. Six in the DA, five in the score. So here's the clarinets. Now, if we go down to the strings where they're answering, let's go ahead and solo the uh, the cellos on the basses. So the cellos and basses are still doing their pizzicato. Now let's go ahead and add in the the sordino violas and the violins. Now let's go ahead and add everything in at that and listen to them in combination. So we see we have the, these are actually symphobia violins here, and these are cinematic violins here. And they're both coming in and answering the um, clarinets. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next four measures. Starting at measure 14 in the DA which would be on page two. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, measure, measure 10 would be measure nine. And then we have the flutes coming in as solo. So let's listen to those solo flutes. Okay, so that's measure nine in the score right there. So if we bring everything in together. So you have the flutes taking the solo again and the strings answering in the next measure. Also, you have the vibraphone right there in measure nine as well.
It's a very intricate arrangement. Then we have our high harp, which seems to be going all the time. So on those measures. And here you have the chord structure. You have the D minor, then you have a B over an E, and, and then going to an E minor in the measure 10. D minor again, B over E again, going to the E minor. So those are the individual parts. And then here's your strings. Here's the, uh, the violins, cinematic, and the Symphobia violins. Let's hear what they sound like together. They're basically playing the same. So there they are answering the clarinets. So if we put them together. Let's start at measure 10. Let's the clarinets roll. The actual melody is in the uh, flutes. So here we go. I think that was Alexa in the background. Something triggered that. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and take a, the, a look at the next group of measures. Starting with uh, 13 in the score, we have a different phrase now. show you the score on that. And then Let's just go ahead and continue on. I think you're probably, probably familiar with the instrumentation now and how they fit together. So this would be measure 17. And the score. So there we have the clarinets and the strings playing together. And then we go to measure 21. So there we have the clarinets again, same melody we had saw before with the uh, violins answering with a chord, going from mezzo forte to piano. And then 
you measure 25, we have a flute coming back in. And there you have it, the, uh, the basic title for Basic Instinct title, the main title, by Jerry Goldsmith. So the instruments we used for the flute was the VSL, Flute 1, Preset Level 1, Legato, Performance Legato. And the oboe was VSL as well. Actually, it was the oboe de Moore. And then the clarinet, VSL. Also, the bassoon was VSL. The uh, horn, French horn, they're actually used on two occasions. There's the triple horn in BSL, and then horns two plus three use the uh, triple horn as well. Sustain patch. Vibraphone. BSL in the mallets section. was the uh, VSL. Also, it had a, uh, a delay on it. And then we have the piano, which was VSL and the harp. It just makes it easy. Now, here we went out of the VSL. This was the violin, cinematic violins. the Arco patch. And then uh, here was the Symphobia strings, another Project Sam library. And then uh, this library, although it says Violins Berlin. Okay, it was Violins Berlin. And then here we did the uh, VSL in sword, for the Sordino Viola. And this is just a duplicate Sordino Viola. And then the cello was um, orchestra cellos from VSL. And then the Appassionata was the Appassionata cello, which are more cellos. The Apashinata is a larger orchestra. Then the Selly too. Was the cello orchestra. And then we have the Apashinata VSL as well. And then the basses, I believe, was from the orchestra. Basses. And then the... We also used the... Uh, the Pashtunada basis, just to give it more uh, depth overall. So that was the instrumentation in the DAW for each of the instruments in the score. So this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music signing off. If you like this video, please click like. If you wish to be notified of additional videos as they come out, please subscribe. So Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music.